All right, so top male actors in Hollywood. Let's go down the list. And I want you to tell me how many times, how often you remember seeing any of these white men with a wig or a dress on. Some of them did. Some of them did do it. Uh, Tom Hanks. I don't remember Tom Hanks being um, uh, in a wig and a dress. Maybe he did it, though. Tom Cruise. Uh, you got Hugh Jackman, you know, um, who plays, like, the not the werewolf, but you know what I'm talking about. X-Men, uh, Wolverine. That's it. Uh, Robert Downey Jr., Iron Man. He's Iron Man. He ain't. Uh, <laughs> he's not the marshmallow man. Uh, Al Pacino. You ever see Al Pacino wear a dress? Anybody ever seen Al Pacino wearing a dress and a wig? Um, Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, Brad Pitt, Johnny Depp, and Liam Neeson, you know, the guy who, the, 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 the real strong alpha guy who will come and kill you if you kidnap his daughter. He has like 10 movies like that. Uh, Bruce Willis, Harrison Ford, Matt Damon, Keanu Reeves, Jack, Nichol Jack Nicholson, Anthony Hopkins, Clint Eastwood, uh, George Clooney, uh, and I can keep going, Ryan Gosling, Joaquin Phoenix, Matthew McConaughey, Russell Crowe, uh, Bradley Cooper, Ben Affleck, Daniel Day-Lewis. Does anybody remember, like, do, do you see these guys, like, in every other magazine dressed as women? Do, do you see it? How often do you see it? Very rare. You might you might be able to find something. Like, when I ask people to say, okay, give me an example of a white man dressing like a woman in Hollywood, they'll go back to, like, Tootsie. Literally, they came out when I was a little kid. And I've, I ain't been a little kid for a long time. But they literally have to go all the way back to stuff like Tootsie or, or that movie Wesley Snipes was in uh, with, uh, with, I forgot who it was, but it was, like, way back in the night. So, so a lot of times they got to go back 30 or 40 years. Right? So I didn't say that it never happens. I'm saying that it rarely happens. And also, it doesn't happen nearly as much as it happens with black actors. That's my point. Because there's, it's rare, just like it's hard to find a white male actor that dresses as a woman in Hollywood, it's also hard to find a prominent black male actor who hasn't dressed as a woman in Hollywood. That is not coincidental. They, the, the way it comes down to is um, they have a nightmare. Their biggest nightmare is a strong black man who actually leads, who does not, who's not going to follow your agenda, who um, is intelligent, who knows who the hell he is. That's their fear, right? So in order to uh, get in good with th their graces or whatever, uh, you got to show up doing your Tyler Perry imitation. Then they'll buy, they'll give you a billion dollars and you can go and get you a big mansion in, in Atlanta and an air airplane strip and all that. And here's what happens. Here's what occurs. And this is why you got to be careful with your culture is that these, these individuals become the people that your children look up to. Right. This is just like book breaking back on the plantation. Uh, Tarina, she did a great movie about book breaking. They would take the biggest, strongest slave, turn him into a punk. And then the little boys would look up and they would realize, OK, if I show up strong, I'm going to get my ass kicked. But if I show up like a punk, then I can get many opportunities. They will treat me very, very well. Right. So a lot of your little boys are planning already to show up as punks.